black girl who's angry Media can't stand me I may never get this Grammy But I'ma feed my family It's just me and my bitches all right, y'all, so this episode of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood was giving all that it could give. So let's give it what we got. All right, so the episode opens up with Lyrica's performance. It was a cute work and I loved it. Then we move on to Lyrica meeting up with Brooke and eventually Princess. Um, I'm not gonna harp on the uh, safari stuff in this scene too much because, girl, you just gave them a rundown, but I believe every word that came to was saying, mama. Anyway, Brooke, um, first of all, I have never hugged somebody first and then was like, no, what's your name? Nice to meet you. Baby, if y'all don't act like y'all ain't never met, act like y'all ain't never met. You can't just walk up to a random bitch and just hug her. No, and then, as soon as y'all was like, nice to meet you, Princess went right in for the kill. Oh, so what's that ring about? First of all, bitch, if I just met you, you ain't got jurisdiction to be asking me questions like this. And the fact that she answering them, and she from Houston, bitch, you already knew her. And now, Brooke, baby, the story is what makes you look thirsty as fuck. I mean, bitches take the niggas ring all the time and be like, okay, bitch, you bought me this ring and it's mine. You know we get married, so stop playing. That type of sentiment is not what surprises and throws people off. The way you did it, you went to your mama house, invited this nigga, he brought the ring, so apparently he was about that life, if you get what I'm saying. You take the ring, put it on your finger, and then after that, you tell him, go ahead and do what you gotta do. Fuck all the bitches you want because I'm not gonna fuck you until we get married. No, ma'am, if you want to, if you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friend, okay? Like, mm-mm. And if my friend say she not ready to play until marriage, then bitch, you gotta wait until marriage, period. I don't understand why that was even an option for you to give him, Brooke. Cause you look stupid. Cause he did exactly what you said and you mad about it. Marcus and A1, this was a perfect segue. Um, they meet up at the studio or whatever and then Marcus basically tells A1 the situation. But it's so crazy because his version of what happened was totally different. The only part of y'all's story that is the same is the fact that he went to Houston and he bought the ring. After that, y'all's story went two different directions, okay? Baby, he said you told him whatever you said, and he did just that. He ain't got time. He know y'all ain't ready to be married, so until y'all are, he gonna do what the fuck he wanna do. Baby, you never tell a man that, because he took that inch you gave him, and bitch, not only did he wanna, he wanna fucking marathon. That's what the fuck he did. A triathlon on your motherfucking ass is what he did. So they sitting there, and they pouring out their little business or whatever. Marcus tells him his little piece of business, and then here A1 come with his business. And ironically and conveniently at the same time, his business was concerning Safari and the information that he got from K. Michelle. Well, Hollywood is not as big as you think, boo, because lip service was definitely happening throughout the city. This is the same situation Brooke was telling me about. This my homie, I need to put him up on game, and then he tells him what happened. Boom, cat. So now you got two sources singing the same song and they don't even run together. However, did y'all catch when A1 was making fun of K. Michelle and he was mocking her and he was like, one thing I don't do is laugh. Marcus said, that's a lie. K, from what I'm starting to understand and gather, your word ain't holding no weight in these streets. But I don't know because in a later scene, A1 was like, K. Michelle may say some crazy shit, but it be facts. So, I'm. And like y'all said last season, it must be two or three, four Hollywoods, okay? K. Michelle and Bridget, ooh, this shit is meshing together so well. K. Michelle and Bridget Kelly. That conversation was cute. I think that Bridget Kelly um, should definitely get kudos because she brought two people together. Y'all was just mad. K. Michelle, I get that it was the principal, but you have to also get that it was 50 fucking dollars and you are a multi-millionaire. So baby, girl, like, she didn't even go all the way in like she could have having your information, you know? And the only reason why your car got declined and canceled was because your car was being used in two different cities, two different states. And the bank was like, hold the fuck up, bitch. If you in New York, you can't be in LA too. So they kind of knew something was going down. That's why they canceled your car. Like she said, she wasn't going all deep, but I do get the principal, bitch. I don't give a fuck if it's a dollar. You gonna let me know before you swipe anything off my motherfucking car. You understand me? And Bridget, girl, I'm saying this because because I love you, genuinely, and you know that. Mama, I need you to have a storyline this season. I don't need you to be a hanger on her. I don't need you to be a tag on her. Like, I need you to have a storyline. Fuck somebody else, 
Booby and, and um, what's his name is gone. So now it's on you. So what you gonna do? Ah, rap it, rap it, rap it, rap it. Y'all do not know where that came from. And if you don't, then bitch, you ain't black. Who ain't seen Martin, okay? Apple Watts and Lyrica. I really like that that conversation took place because I felt like it was necessary. A, because you wanna work with her husband. Point blank in the period. I don't necessarily think you should apologize for doing your fucking job because if he married and know that that's some shit that his wife ain't getting down with, his motherfucking ass shouldn't even been there. Okay. So it ain't your fault, bitch. You was hired to be there. He was there for free. For support, if you will. So no, ma'am. What you not gonna do is get in my ass because your husband was out of place. Bitch, I don't owe you shit. And as a matter of fact, he owe me. And that's why he rain down on me. Because he owes me, okay? So they squashed that or whatever. And in walks A1. Baby, A1 must have been heated because bitch, he couldn't even wait until they got home. Lyrica hadn't moved out yet, so bitch, I could have had this conversation at the house. He said, no, bitch, I need to talk to you right. I guess he meant what he said, bitch. I'm going to talk to you right now. Right now. Bust in, says his little one to the apple, and basically dismisses her motherfucking ass. I need you to poop to the left because I need to talk to my wife. Lyrica, um... See, this is why I recommend y'all take acting classes. Not only because of y'all confessionals, and not only because y'all can't cry on cue, but because you need to know how to throw. You know, when you get caught up in a jambo, in a bojangle, if you will, you need to know how to shake to the left and show shake to the right. You couldn't do that. You were just like, ah. And that whole laughing session was giving you time to think. Who stupid? Girl poof. Uh-uh, that is not the case. Da -da 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 -da. And here's another thing, mama. He said, send me your phone. I would have rather said no. Mm-hmm. Then to do the shit you did. You left the thread up and deleted the actual messages. If there is absolutely nothing in the thread, that is proof. I mean tangible proof that you are hiding something. Because peep this, if you never text Safari and Safari never texts you, that would, I'll give you an example. Lyrica, you and I don't have a text thread, do we? Cause I don't have your number and you damn sure don't have mine. So why would you have my phone number in your text thread and then no message there? If I never sent you a message, how the fuck did I even pop up in the thread? In the list of threads, if you will. Baby, all you gotta do is swipe to the left, delete the entire thread. That would have saved your ass more than you having a goddamn thread with no messages in it. Are you serious? Oh, and please don't tear me this shit up and have only one side. See, I didn't say shit. It was just, no, ma'am, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. And like I said, your response gave it away. You blew the fuck up. Oh my God, I am going to be Kate Michelle's ass. Oh, where is all this coming from? A hit dog will holler. I can say it another way, baby. You throw a rock at a pack of dogs, the one that yelp is the one that got hit, bitch. I, uh, uh, you wanted to literally fight Kate Michelle. You ran to literally charge Brooke Valentine at a baby shower. A gender reveal, but bitch, it's the same thing, okay? That's just another excuse for bitches to have a baby shower. Uh -huh. Cause I bet you they be wanting you to bring gifts to the goddamn gender reveal, huh? You don't even know what the fuck it is. What the fuck you buying shit for? But they want you to come with rattles and goddamn pacifiers, don't they? Well, shit, since I'm on Lyrica, let me go ahead and jump over to the baby shower. Um, First of all, what you did to Brooke, or how you came at Brooke was completely inappropriate. First of all, just on the strength of, you ain't finna get mad at me for some shit you doing. I thought you was my friend. Why do you want me? Why do you want me to keep my mouth closed? Strike two of you looking guilty. Lyrica, at this point, just, and then you move out. Just say you did. Cause Safari ain't really denying the shit. And you looking stupid. Cause your explanations are stupid. Your actions are stupid. Your retaliations are stupid. If you was gonna start a beef, with every bitch that started a rumor about you or said something about you that wasn't true, bitch, you be fighting for years. Cut it. Your price is way too high. Now for the rest of the baby shower. Um, Princess was not with the shit. Mm-mm. First it was Princess versus Sonya Norwood, and then it was Princess versus Brandy Norwood. 
she ate Brandy like a fucking lasagna, bitch. Like she, oh, and Brandy is my fave. Like people, I, I have literally gotten into full blown arguments with people behind Brandy. And I can stand here and say, mama, you got red for absolute filth. She dusted your ass in her third trimester, bitch. She wasn't playing with you. Mama started off by saying what I'm not gonna do is take relationship advice from a bitch that can't hold a relationship more than three months. Did y'all even catch that? Princess. Oh, I'm gonna have to tweet about this, like I promise. Oh, she ran the fuck out of Brandy and Brandy was just like, I'm just coming in. And, uh, Brandy, this is not helping you given the very shit you was just having going on with Monica, like. And what she said, she was like, you wanna talk to me about doing this shit, but you clapping back all the time on the shade room. But I do get what Brandy is saying. Aside from the fact that I agree wholeheartedly with you, Prince, that they are trying to cover their motherfucking image and they are trying to look good as a family, but who wouldn't? I get that. But also, everybody that Brandy was fighting with was not family. Former friends, a fan, what have you. She never fought with family. You were princess. And that that, that kind of did take it out of bounds a little bit. Donatella's event. Um, I don't really want to talk about that event much because it wasn't really much going on. So let's just move on to Marcus and work outside. Um, oh. First of all, Marcus, you was in a pickle. Mm-hmm. You were trying to be suave and smooth about the shit, but no, I would have set Brooke ass straight. You told me to do what I'm doing right now. So why you tripping? And here's the thing though. You swear up and down that the only person that's confused is Brooke. But bitch, I think it's all three of y'all. Brooke confused because she don't know about Stassi. Stassi confused because she didn't know a bitch ass thing about Brooke. The whole little rundown of the holidays that Brooke was listening, she was like, what? You was with her bed? What? Yeah. What? She didn't know anything. And the whole time you just like, you was thrown out too and you was confused too. You was confused because you didn't know your ass was gonna be ambushed. You looking at production like, are y'all serious? Like you looking dead at the camera. That is something that you do not do on reality TV. You looking dead at the camera like, y'all like, what the fuck? No, you gotta face the goddamn music, Marcus. What the fuck is it? If you knew you didn't want to be serious, if you knew that what you wanted to do was move on, like you said when you was talking to A1, bitch would have had to give me that motherfucking ring back, bitch. I'm not good on you keeping shit. What I'm going to do is go, I'm going to recycle that bitch and get that bitch to Stassi should things work the fuck out. But baby, you keeping a ring while we decided that we're going to take a break from each other and potentially see other people is not in the option cards, okay? And again, Brooke, you look stupid. He walked out with Stassi. Trying to calm her nerves. He was trying to just finesse you. But at the end of the day, girl, like, I don't blame him. Girl, stop playing these games. Either you want to be with the man or you don't. If y'all wasn't ready for marriage, the smart thing for y'all to do would be to still be together and build towards marriage. Why would you tell somebody that we're not ready for marriage yet? We're not all the way to the finish line. So what I want you to do is go out and fuck other people. And when you're tired of that, then we'll finish this race. Bitch, you got me fucked up. All the way. And finally, A1 and Safari. Y'all, we really can't even go in on this topic because it seems like we're not gonna even get the real girth. Uh, I shouldn't say girth. That was so nasty. The, um... <laughs> we're not gonna get the source and the core of the argument and what we need to talk about until next week because they ended it right when the fight started. So, that was pretty much that. But I will say this. The streets is talking at one and they are saying that your marriage is fake. Like, y'all just got a business agreement. So why are you going this hard behind that? Like, I don't even understand. You paint your nails. Like, should you be focusing on keeping a, a consistent manicure schedule? Like, I don't, I don't know, girl. Like, mm -mm. focus on your hits. You got hits. Here's one more. That would make a great record, okay? I didn't listen to Drake's new album yet, but I don't know. He probably ain't got a record on there about being cheated on and, you know, being hurt. You know, R&B niggas need to get back into that groove. You know, R&B niggas nowadays don't have no feelings. Uh-uh, what happened to maybe I deserve her? You know, like, we need to get some more of that, oh, baby, you hurt me, you broke me down music. I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying? 
great record, and you can have Safari feature on it, okay? And Lil could be like the, I just didn't want Mr. B. You know, the little voice in the background. It'll work perfectly. But bitch, I want my 7% because I came up with the idea. So yeah, y'all, that was all this episode was giving. Thank y'all so much for hopping in my DMs and telling me how much y'all care about me and sending me love. Um, I really appreciate it. I read everybody's messages and I love you guys for it. Um, and yeah, same place, same time.